welcome back everybody to Crows of Judgment. And uh, I'll try to make this as quick a video as I can and not ramble on too long. Because I, I need to go over what my issues are with the commentary community. Now, I, I maybe you've seen the back and forth with Augie on Twitter. I personally don't care about Augie by himself. I mean, like, my issue is with commentary as a whole, right? And um, look, obviously, I, I, I think technicals has been more right than the people in commentary have been. And I already said, I'm going to save a lot of that for Monday, right? And I will, and I'll go over why I think people are being intentionally fucking dishonest. And even though I can respect their opinion, I, I cannot respect this need to stretch definitions and, you know, I don't know, do like clearly just degenerate things like, ah, take my friend and uh, put a bunch of his statements, but like slice it up to make him sound like fucking psychotic. Anyways, um, we'll, we can save that all for fucking Monday and shit. Now, what, what's got me pissed off, though, is this situation that's been going on with, with Technicals, Zero, and Nairo. Okay? And I tried to keep my mouth shut on this. I know I made some statements, but I tried not to get into it too much. In fact, I think the only thing that I really took major issues with was uh, bringing Technical's brother into it, which at this point, I, I mean, I've, I've watched John Swan's video. That was originally what I was going to do on Monday. I, I just, I don't understand how that's a relevant thing for people. I, I, I don't, I've never been able to, right? I've heard that it's because uh, Technical's running the chat. Then I heard it was because, well, Technical's brother is like, possibly a pedo and then i hear uh you know augie abandon it on keemstar and then augie say he doesn't think that his brother's a pedo and i'm like well if he's not then why would you think that informs his decision on this other thing i i've never been able to 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 understand that but um yeah that that's the only thing that's, i i think originally was getting me a little bit fucking heated and, and full disclosure i did contact someone um you know in dms you know asking them to speak with other people in commentary Right, because I'm still an outside guy and everything, right? Just asking them to put a fucking stop to it, right? And that never happened. It just kept on going, and it went where I thought it was going to go, you know, because you went after his brother. Technicals went and brought up fucking Zap Tie, because that's Augie's friend. Like it was, it was pretty obvious that was going to happen, right? Because when you go below the belt, the other guy is going to respond in kind, but. I saw this like moral outrage to Zap Tie getting brought up, right? Like absolute moral outrage from people. The same people who all seem to be totally okay with Technical's brother getting brought up, which again, we can go into Monday on how many times the explanation for that has changed, because I would I'd really love to. But I thought, for the love of God, I actually thought that that when this shit ended with zero and technicals. Right? And, and the rest of the fucking commentary community, I thought, because I'm a naive little fucking idiot who hasn't been on the platform long enough, that these guys would then focus on Nairo. Right? Because this video has been out since November 24th. And even, and I, and again, I disagree with, with a lot of the assumptions being made about Zero, while also completely respecting why people are making them. And I'll explain why, and you can disagree with it. I don't care. But even if I went with the most absurd telling of who Zero is, right? Like, like absolutely just like a degenerate pedo who just jerks off to children, is doing it to this day, and just wants to get on YouTube so he can rape more kids or something. Of, uh, or I guess not like, like inappropriately sexed with kids and shit. Like, even if I took that interpretation, I still think Nairo, what he has actually done, is worse. And I think, like, the fact that you know who Nairo is, because you've at least acknowledged his existence, and I know you've said things like, Nairo's bad, and I think he should be banned from Smash tournaments. He's not. He, he's not. Zero is banned, and nobody's trying to stop him from being banned. But I think one of the things that got lost with the technicals thing is Zero's situation is no way equatable to what's going on with Nairo, right? You have a guy, and what you can prove, okay, what you can prove 
is gross and inappropriate, disgusting messages with a 14-year-old girl. Not sexting, but we can argue about that later, right? But it's still wrong. 100% it's wrong. And he should be banned from Smash tournaments, right? Like 100% because there are children there. And even if he's uh, not interested in kids, even if he's not a pedo and shit, he still shouldn't be going because he did that at one point. Like I completely get that and I'm fucking on board 100%. But, but Nairo, right? Nairo is a guy who goes to Smash tournaments and has has confessed to twice sleeping with a minor at these smash tournaments and nairo is unbanned from from going to smash tournaments right and, and beyond that because he was banned originally when he confessed to doing it then he later claimed it was non-consensual and he, uh, he was blackmailed twice into doing it and, and also like there are these messages <laughs> there are these statements from like other people it's like literally in 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 technicals video that that show the two are like really ootsy cutesy together it's it's really fucking creepy right nairo still has access to all these kids nairo actually slept with a child twice and, and he did it at the fucking smash tournaments that only technical seems to be trying to actively get him banned from. His, his video is titled Ban Nairo for fuck's sakes. And, and I've heard people in commentary like give these like, and I don't want to call it half-hearted, right? I, I don't want to be insulting or anything. Nairo, okay, has actually slept with a child twice. He slept with that child at Smash tournaments. That child was a competitor at these Smash tournaments. And Nairo had like a group, I want to say 20 plus people or something, actively campaigning from within the Smash community to get him access to more, uh, to, to get him access to more children, right? To get him back into these fucking tournaments. And this is just not a priority for anybody, right? Except for technicals. I don't understand what the fuck is going on here. I really don't. Is the beef so bad with fucking technicals that you guys don't want to spread as much awareness as you can over an active pedo? Because here's the thing, right? You've tried to shut down the channels of, of actual pedos before. Red Kiwis, uh, fucking Mini Lad. And, and I fully support you on that, by the way. 100%. YouTube doesn't, though, and you know they don't. Unless you get these people arrested, YouTube's gonna let them have their fucking channels. If Zero comes back onto the platform, what are you gonna do? Upload a video every single time he does? And go like, hey, is this a pedophile? Like, you're not gonna do that. Because you don't do it for mini ladder red kiwis. And again, again, the things that they did, much worse. So, so, the only person that you could actively use your platform to put a stop to here, right? Because m maybe you think your, your your goal here is to shut technicals down because you think technicals is like being dangerous or something. You, even after John Swan's video, I think he gained like another thousand subscribers. So you're not doing any damage to technicals. You, you're, 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 you're trying to shut down zero from having a YouTube channel, which you know isn't going to work, the only one you could possibly use your platform to put a stop to is literally Nairo, okay? Do more streams about fucking Nairo. Tell your, like, you could literally tell your audience to contact these fucking tournaments, right? And ask them to ban him because, look, we, we can say cancel culture and shit, but no, this guy's like an actual fucking pedophile. And he still has access to children, and you know this! You all know this! This has been said to you multiple fucking times! How is Zero a priority for you? I don't- I don't understand it! Zero's gonna have his YouTube channel. Like it or not, you know how YouTube operates. You've been on the platform longer than me! You know unless you get him arrested, or he actually does something on the channel, they're gonna let him have it. They, they are. I'm sorry, they are. 
If you want to follow him around and flag every video he uploads, go for it, right? I can't stop you from doing it, but you don't do it to Red Kiwis or fucking Mini Lad. So I know you're not going to do it with this guy. So this is pointless. Every video you've done, every live stream you've done, bitching about how Zero's going to have his YouTube channel back is really fucking pointless. You've been beating your chest to stop something that you know you can't stop. But you know also there is an actual pedophile who still has access to children and these motherfucking tournaments don't care because no one's talking about it. Like y'all said, oh look, technicals, he had the ability to get one person banned. Dude, god damn it, I hate anecdotal shit, right? Toy Bounty Hunters runs a YouTube channel, it's a small channel, but Toy Bounty Hunters has been involved in, in multiple conventions within Florida. He knows people that are in the smash scene within Florida, like large tournament events, and, and these people are saying they've never fucking heard of technicals. This, I, I believe the stream's still up on John's channel. If it is, I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to check it out, right? But these Smash tournaments are not paying attention, right? Because there's no buzz being generated. The one time they did was when every friend of Nairo's advocated to get him unbanned. And they did. They got him unbanned. Now, you motherfuckers, can you please, please, for the love of fucking God... If you're going to sit there and beat your chest and talk about how you're like anti-pedo and anyone against you is just pro pedo can you fucking put a stop to this guy? Use your platforms for something useful! Everything I see is just a pissing mass of technicals, right? Because I know that you're not stopping Zero from having the YouTube channel, right? And you've given your fucking take like so many times and I don't know how many of you have fucking said this is my final statement and then like then, then, then this is actually my final statement and then I'm done with this but then this is also my final state. Like, <laughs> god damn it. What are we doing? This, stop Nairo. For fuck's sakes. That's why I'm pissed off with all of you. 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 Because while well, I can say that it is on you, use your platform, upload whatever type of content you want, right? And I, I'm 100% with you on that. You've been beating your fucking chest to how bad Zero is. When, when you know, when you absolutely know who Nairo is, the things Nairo has done, right? For the love of fucking God, even if you hate technicals and think he's a piece of shit and hate his fucking brother and, and hate every fucking take he has on Zero... For the love of fucking God, could you just watch the fucking Nairo video and, and, and use your fucking platform to draw awareness? Because right now, there is a guy who has just, just, just like, just exactly like, like Zero, confessed to sleeping with a minor, not once, but twice at Smash tournaments. And this minor was specifically a contestant at the Smash tournaments. Meaning, you have a predator who is lurking at these Smash tournaments because that's his hunting grounds. Let's keep the predator off of his hunting grounds. That, that, that would actually, that would actually help children. Right? Man, I, 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 I say this, uh, like, often enough. But what, what gets me so fucking heated about this shit, I've had family members who were abused. It went on for years. It's disgusting. I've had friends of mine, people I've cared for deeply, get falsely accused. I've been on both ends of this, okay? So it, it absolutely pisses me off if we're not going to be accurate, right? It pisses me off if we're not going to provide any type of fucking context, right? Maybe that's just me. That's just how my brain works, Okay. But, but more than fucking anything, seeing a, 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 all these people, like, pounding off to, like, being anti-fucking pedo, just ignoring Nairo, right? Like, this guy just doesn't matter to you, right? And, and there's that part of me, right? There, there's that part of me that wants to be an asshole, right? And say that you're totally okay giving this pedophile a pass because you're more concerned with giving technicals any credit. And I, I don't want to think that you guys, all of you, right, are that fucking twisted inside. I really, I don't think it's that, okay? So, do you think Nairo is innocent? Do you think Nairo didn't sleep with a child at Smash tournaments, right? Do you think he still doesn't have access to kids, right? I, I, I'm not trying to be a dick, but like, okay, let me show you what I did, 
right? And 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 this is when I I, I start pulling my fucking hair out, right? So I do Augie RFC Nairo, right? Just just to see, right? Something, something. Because, you know, like, again, Nairo is an actual predator who still has access to his hunting grounds, right? These are the videos that come up. Uh, Augie RFC versus Technicals. Technicals talks about zero and RFC. Thanksgiving tension. Technicals, Nicholas Diorio, zero argument gets wild. Uh, Augie RFC gets kicked from his payroll. That's commentary aids. I don't know who the fuck that guy is. Um, why technicals is a hypocrite. Ban Nairo response plus zero statement, right? Don't worry. Technicals is just a hypocrite because he wants to ban Nairo, but he's defending zero. That's literally the fucking narrative now, by the way. God damn. Good job, guys. Good fucking job. I hate you. I fucking hate you. <laughs> and I have every reason to. I have every fucking reason to. Okay, um, I, I didn't go too far down, right? Oh, there we go. One person. 1K views. Grimsy. Uh, apology to technicals and Nairo. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> they're they're apologizing to technicals and Nairo. I don't know what that is. Uh, this got disgusting. Augie, this is what the conversation turned to, right? If I try to see what Augie's take is on Nairo, right? All I see is Augie's fucking fighting with technicals. Right, um, Nicholas Diori no doesn't really upload content. Right, I, I mean, I could look up Bo Black's channel, but I I think he's largely been separated from all this. I don't want to like drag him in or anything. Um, who 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 else should I do? Like, cause I, I mean, Augie, like you've got so many like there are so many videos dedicated either from you talking about zero only right or specifically mentioning zero in like the title maybe maybe deep in you're mentioning nairo and, and your debate with with technicals right and look man i i i'll say this right technicals should be more concerned and focused on getting uh uh nairo banned than engaging in this shit because this literally just kills all fucking momentum right Please, I, I am begging you guys, right? You think I'm an asshole because I called fucking that idiot Connor, right? A horse fucker? Well, he's literally saying that I'm defending fucking pedos. That, may, maybe you're upset by that, right? Get over it. I'm more upset with you, right? I'm more upset with the way you're using your fucking platforms. Only because you've like made this hardline fucking stance on this shit. And you clearly don't fucking care about Nairo, the guy who still has access to kids, right? Or I, I say you don't care, but like something's clouding your fucking vision on this shit. Something is. Don't know what it is. Don't really fucking care what it is either. If you hate technicals and these piece of shit, cocksucker motherfucker, right? Then don't even reference this fucking video. Go do the research yourself right? And upload this video on your own. Leave the charge on your fucking own. I don't care. I literally don't care. And honestly, I don't think technicals cares either. Like, I, I literally think he wants Nairo out of these tournaments because he's genuinely concerned that there are professional Smash players who would get a pedophile back into tournaments where they know he was sleeping with kids, right? Because again, a ton of professional players there's many people are saying they were at these places they saw him with this kid it was inappropriate right so i'm willing to bet if you looked into it you'd find probably some of those people that were like unbanned nairo and professional smash players and everything and people involved in that scene let's be honest more than two people know that guy was fucking kids who do you think is a bigger danger to children right now and who do you think you can actually use your platform to put a stop to? That's what I'm, I'm honestly, I'm honestly asking that question, right? If you think that you are going to use your platform to put a stop to zero from having his YouTube channel, I'm sorry, it didn't work with Red Kiwis. It did not work with Minilad. If you think you're going to use your channel to put a stop to what technicals is saying about zero and shit, I mean, yeah, it's great Twitter fucking drama, right? But like, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I don't think ratios really matter, but like he is still ratioing you guys. Like he, clearly his supporters are way more fucking active 
and they don't care about what you're saying. He's only been gaining subscribers probably because when you talk shit about him, they'll go to his channel and they'll see this fucking video on Nairo, which is insane. And they're like, why is nobody talking about this? At least that's the way I feel about it. I could be wrong. And, and again, we'll save the stuff with zero and what I think people in commentary are either like being willfully fucking obtuse or just outright ignoring uh, on the zero thing, right? And, and specifically why it matters that he is targeting the accuser in a defamation lawsuit. Here's a hint. There's a, there's a thing in California, right? Like it's an anti-slap thing that first off he has to overcome, but, but also the, you know, defamation cases are pretty cut and dry, right? She's made a claim against him. If he goes to court and says, she's a liar, uh, she hates me, these are all these messages between her and this other bitch, and you can see they're talking about how I'm an awful person, and, they, and she has no proof. And, and, and she's going to like what, fucking go up and say, it happened. I said it because he groomed me. And, and like, and guess what? Zero would lose his court case immediately, right? Like, because here's the thing, right? He can't just say that she's a liar and she has no proof, right? Like he can say that on social media and shit. It literally doesn't matter. In a court of law, when he's suing for defamation, he not only has to prove that she made the statement, but he needs to prove that she knowingly lied. It's called actual malice. And it matters that he is suing specifically on defamation and targeting Katie. I, I think that there is a segment of that allegation that we're going to find is completely fabricated. And well, you might not like this, the fabricated part is probably the sexting part, which is much worse than than the messages I've seen, which are which are still bad. Okay, I don't want to have to keep fucking saying that to you fucking children. Obviously, they're bad, but they're not sexting. Okay, this is literal definition of sexting. Okay, it literally doesn't meet that definition. You can call it whatever you fucking want. I'm sorry, but it's not that. God damn. I, I, my head fucking hurts with this shit. So I'll see y'all on Monday where we'll have uh, like a, a much longer stream and everything and we'll go more into details. And if you saw this video and you're upset with something I said in it, no problem. Let me know. You can hit me up on Twitter, right? I'll give you a link to the stream and you can tell it directly to my face and I'll let you fucking go off because when we're dealing with pedos, I'm willing to listen to literally everybody to make sure that the right people are punished and the like we don't go after people we don't need to right and by that i mean people that aren't actually a threat to children i i i that that's my stance on this and if you literally can't fucking understand that right i don't know what to fucking tell you anymore right i i, I say one thing and i get completely pulled out of fucking context my friend says something and he gets completely pulled out of context. I've got a guy who, who uploads a video where he's literally chopping up his sentence to make him sound fucking psychotic. We're talking about pedo allegations, right? When you do shit like that, to me, it just says you literally don't fucking care, right? You're treating it like it's a fucking game. And, and... <laughs> How do you treat this shit like it's a fucking game? Okay, that's it. That's it. I, I don't want to keep ranting. Bye.